This video deals with the subject of chemtrails. What are they? Where do they come from? And why is the media ignoring them? What you see in this still shot is the typical X pattern that the chemtrails are laid in. These trails here that make this particular cross pattern are beginning to feather out. The cloud formation that you see on the right hand side of the screen is actually a chemtrail that was sprayed quite some time ago. As it feathers out, it begins to look more and more like a natural cloud. At the center of the screen, I've captured what is the beginning of a chemtrail coming just up over the horizon. The new chemtrail is flanked on the left and the right by chemtrails that have been sprayed earlier today. As we watch this, trail being laid note the overcast appearance that the sky is taking on these are not natural clouds they're the remnants of trails that were sprayed earlier today once again we have the uh, familiar tic-tac-toe pattern as the new trail is contrasted against older trails. As we zoom in tighter on this shot, you can actually see that there is a plane at the head of this trail. It appears to be white in color and has no markings on it about the size of a jumbo jet. The trail starts in the southeastern sky and transverses the sky across to a northwesterly direction. I've condensed this clip, but all told it takes a jet about seven minutes to cross the sky from one horizon to the other. Once again, you can make out the aircraft right at the head of the trail. And here's a still frame capture from the video showing the plane at the head. Now we'll follow our trail from one horizon to the other. Note that the trail is already expanded from its original fine line size. Now we'll zoom in for a closer look. Note how the trail up close resembles the natural cloud formation. This trail is very recent and has just begun to spread or feather out. And here's a shot of another trail. It also has begun to spread out, take on cloud-like characteristics. The trails that we are seeing are not to be confused with exhaust trails from regular airline jets which are made up mostly of water vapor. The water vapor trails, also known as contrails, dissipate rather quickly, usually in less than a minute. In contrast to the contrails, the chemtrails don't dissipate. What they do is they spread out over time and form a layer of overcast, completely blocking out the sun. Note several chemtrails paralleling each other, intersected by a fourth perpendicular. Here's the same shot about 10 minutes later. We're now about 20 minutes after that last shot, and we have another chemtrail being sprayed in the sky. Once again, working in the familiar tic-tac-toe pattern. Note the trail he's about to cross. That trail was the one we filmed earlier, and you can see the massive spreading that's taken place on it. We follow him back down and zoom in on his trail, and you can see the density of these things. As we follow him across the sky, 
he is now approaching the horizon. Note the hazy character that the sky has taken on, which is a direct result of these trails spreading and feathering out. This is a shot of the first trail we saw spraying, which is actually higher in the sky than the current trail being sprayed. This is a few minutes later, and you can actually see how the trail has spread out in a matter of a few minutes. Here's the trail, maybe 10 minutes later. Note the density once again. There's your familiar X pattern as we follow it across the sky. The familiar X pattern. The feathering or spreading out of the trail. And here we have our third chemtrail that I've been able to capture today. Starting out basically in the southeast, moving in a northwesterly direction. Note the sky increasingly becoming more and more overcast. And he approaches an earlier sprayed trail. Note the feathering of the previous trail. And also the trail is once again higher in the sky. He is coming in underneath it. Going back, tracing his trail to this point in time. And now, a few minutes later, note how the trail has become thicker, older trails feathering out more and more. And finally, the sky. This is about three to four hours after I filmed these trails being made. As you can see, the trails at this point in time have spread out to where they're almost indistinguishable from naturally formed cloud formations. However, we have just witnessed how these cloud formations were formed, and it's anything but natural. Whether the purpose of these trails is good or bad, I can't say. I don't know what they're made of. I don't know who's spraying it. I know they do exist, and I also know that nobody's talking about it. Spread the word. Turn somebody on to this video.